Uh, one of the new releases on DVD and Blu-ray this week is 13 Hours Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, the story of a security team who fight to defend the American compound in Libya after the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Jim interviewed one of the stars of the film, and he's actually here to talk to us now. Jim Ferguson, nice to be on with you. Oh, thank you, Alex. Always fun to be with you, too. You're talking about John Krasinski. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know he went to Brown? I did not very know that. bright guy, very good-looking guy, very bright guy, and what a versatile actor. Comedy, The Office. Yes. And I loved him with George Clooney in the Leatherheads. Do you remember right. that? You yeah, know? I did, yeah. Yeah, and now he plays a very serious uh, uh, former Navy SEAL, mm -hmm. retired. Now he's, uh, what would you call them? They sign up to fight uh, you a, know a mercenary. A mercenary. A mercenary. Okay, mercenary. got it. Okay. And, of course, he's stationed at the compound in Libya, which was attacked. And uh, his character is very bright. Uh, calm, cool, which you expect from a Navy SEAL, but mm -hmm. totally different than his other roles. Ah. And I'm told that he explained in this interview, he talks a lot about what it takes to be trained for this kind of a job, okay? Here is John Krasinski. The truth is, uh, there is a, it seems like this is a political story. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> but it has to be told. Absolutely. And uh, it's, it's funny, because to me, I thought I knew everything I needed to know about Benghazi. I watch the news, I read the newspaper, and I think I was slightly embarrassed to find out how little I knew, especially about this particular story, which actually is the story. So um, all the politics came after this moment, and all the opinions and ideas, which everybody's entitled to, and I think that's a really important um, part of it, it, it completely overshadowed the true story of these six guys. And in a world where we tell all these superhero stories, it's really important that we tell these stories. Exactly. Where everybody that we know can look up to these real people. Because I was going to say, you play your character, Jack, in mm -hmm. Special Forces. That's right. And they were so important, what they did at the, in that compound. But yet, they almost became invisible. I do. I think that there was a moment you'll see in the movie, as you obviously did, is when they arrive at the compound, uh, there was so much that people I didn't know, and I don't think people are going to know, and it'll be really uh, exciting for people to see this for the first time. And one of the scenes is they get to the compound, and there are hundreds of people uh, in the area and, and in the compound, and they had no idea you know, who was there to kill them and who the, was there to support them. Who the good guys in the bed? No uniforms. Exactly. Yeah. And, and nor did uh, these six guys have uniforms either. And to be in that unbelievably high-risk situation and to be able to walk through people was pretty pretty unbelievable. Well, you know, I didn't mention that directed by Michael Bay, one of your favorites. Yes, right? I, I do love Michael Bay. And you know, what I, what I also love about this movie is it really, like John said, it takes a look at the gritty details that nobody else might have otherwise looked at. Exactly, and the way Michael ends the film, I, I thought was brilliant. They showed the other side, the battlefield of the thousands of Libyans that were killed. Wow. You know, yeah. they're just bodies all over the place, you know. So right. that's that side of the story. Well, it illustrates, you know, the, the grittier, bloodier sides of it. And you can really tell that John's intelligent. And would you say that a lot of actors that you've interviewed, are, most of them are pretty smart? Yes, very much. Very so. well educated. Yeah, they know what they're doing. You right. Know, believe me, and John is one of the best. Yeah, and you know, this is the kind of movie, forget the politics. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy this film. I mean, for what it is, and you can learn a great deal about what really happened there. And the yeah. patriotism. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Next, next uh, coming up on Friday, you have something quite a bit different than yeah, this. an old superhero. Yes, Tarzan. Tarzan back, back to the to 1930s <laughs> with Johnny Weissmuller, <laughs> and we have the new version, of course, opening on Friday, July the first, and uh, starring Alexander Skarsgård, who we'll have a little interview with. Very yeah. good. And this is a more serious uh, version of Tarzan because I remember the one from the 90s. Who was the actor that I can't remember the, the name of the actor? It was a bit of a sillier movie in the 90s. Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I Brad do. Brad something? I do. I yeah. don't know. I can't think. Brandon Fraser. That's Brandon what it was. Fraser, yeah. Yes. And it, that was, yeah, that was, that was a comedy. That was a comedy. So comedy, this is something yeah. a little bit yeah. quite, quite right. different. More like The Jungle Book. Mm -hmm. Did you, you watch The Jungle Book, obviously? Oh, yeah. yeah, I did. It's going to yeah. be sort of the same the idea. The effects are incredible in this film. Oh, I bet. And, uh, you know, it's uh, going way back to, to me, the Tarzan was Johnny Weissmiller. Too, you're too young. To Probably Johnny Weissmiller. Yeah, four-time gold medal winner in wow. swimming, and a body like Alexander doesn't compare to. <laughs> and, uh, to be honest with you, very oh, good, very oh. good, Jim. Always a pleasure to have you on. I love being on with you. Oh, I this this is fun. Just talk because I know you love movies. You I love, love movies. Yeah. Thank you, Jim. I'll see you Friday. All right, and for more of Jim's wonderful celebrity interviews, just visit our website TucsonMorningBlend.com and search for Hollywood happenings.